Salutations, spooks, spirits, inspectors, and welcome back to more Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartender action. Uh, you may notice that our TV suddenly works now. Uh, that's because I, uh, I loaded from my last save in the dorm room, or the apartment, and replayed through everything all the way back up to here. Because, uh, I didn't feel like, uh, after pressing forward after two tidbits and having lots of coughing, I, uh, I'll just leave that part out. You, nobody needs to know what happened. <coughs> Let's just say that there was a lot of noise that happened and no amount of editing could, uh, rectify the situation. So I decided, you know what, I'll just... Replay everything back to this point, and we'll go from there. So, <coughs> we'll go with that. Also, every single song is everything's going to be okay, because everything is going to be okay, okay? Well, I wasn't down, really. I was just thinking about a lot of things. Like what? Well, my mom, or er, guardian, asked me to go home on, on, <coughs> on Monday for a bit. And as much as I love her, being with her is usually tiring. Guardian. That whole thing about someone taking care of a Lilum after they're deployed until they reach maturity, right? Yep. And I'm proud to say that I reached psychological maturity <coughs> in just one year. They always try to keep a varied pool of volunteers to make the collective source grow faster. So what's wrong with your Guardian? Well, she still treats me like a kid. The worst part is that sometimes I fear she might see me as some sort of replacement for her dead daughter. Huh. Dead daughter. I was deployed to her not long after she lost her daughter. A contrived, a contrived coincidence, really. Even when I was still developing self-awareness, I always feared she might be using me as a replacement. She didn't, though. Or at least not consciously. At times she would just stop doing something, or return a gift she's given me. If she felt like she was projecting too much of her daughter onto me. <coughs> what irony that years later, I'd make a living pretending to be someone else in the bedroom. How's that? Well, most of the time my job involves role-playing. A daughter, a student, some helpless kid. It means I've gotten many clients looking exactly for that. But on the other hand, from a professional standpoint, I'd rather have them hire me because of me. Because of my character. Not because I'm the one that role plays as little girls. Maybe I need to exaggerate some attribute. What's the problem with your guardian then? If you do that on a daily basis, why worry about it? <coughs> because I don't want to make her sad. Every time I visit her, I fear she might look at me and see her daughter. That seeing her me makes that seeing me makes her sad. At this point, I don't even care if she's projecting her daughter onto me. I just don't want to make her feel sad. Did you try talking with her? How so? Telling her just what you said to me, clear up those fears. Yes, actually, when I was replaying through this to catch all the way back up to here, yes, I did serve, I did serve Dorothy the Bleeding Jane again. Yes, I did. I made sure to do everything the same. Everything is the same. It's just that we now have something on the TV. I mean, unless she's not that kind of, she's kind, she's not the kind to want anyone opening up to her. That is, I never really thought about talking to her about that. Doesn't sound like something you just bring up though. Keep it in mind, at least. Maybe she'll appreciate the gesture. I wouldn't know, though. I haven't met her. She's a really nice woman. The problem is mostly myth me, I think. Well, I think I'll go now. Thanks for lending me an ear, honey. My boss told you about the party tomorrow, right? Yep, I wouldn't dare miss... I wouldn't dare to miss that. Okay, then. All right, then. See you tomorrow. Good luck. 
Thanks. And that's that. Boss, I'll be taking my break. All right. <clears throat> right on. Let's go ahead and do the save. It's now safe to keep playing. Can I, I can't click out of that faster. I need to remember to buy more cigars. Why? Back. Did I miss something? Unless you count the worst PV, the first PPV main event fight I've seen all year. Not really, no. All right. <coughs> Going out. I'll have a word with Gogo -Go outside. He was so hot for that match. He must be devastated. Okay. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hi, say. Good evening, Jill. How are you doing? The nightmares have stopped, so I'm sleeping better. Nightmares? <coughs> <coughs> um, how about your injuries? My bones are healing nicely. My wounds finally closed. The scars itch a bit, though. Well, that's good to hear. Are you by yourself today? Yeah. I'm running a couple of errands by myself today, but I wanted to come here for a while. I also noticed the big guy from last time is outside. Buster? Estella doesn't want me being alone so I'm still while I'm still healing, so she suggested taking him with me. Ah, I see. What can I get you? Something cold. Sure. Something cold for say. <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. One, 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 two. On the rock. And you blend it. No, I don't know how I remember that the moon blast has ice in it. I just did. I think you'll like this one. Really? Hehe. <laughs> so sweet of you. Thanks. <coughs> so, Stella isn't with you today. She's throwing a mega Christmas party tomorrow and is having a meeting today. I'm just helping her by checking on some of the things she ordered. And here I was, all ready to invite you to the party we're throwing tomorrow. You're throwing a party too? Sorry about that. Can't really say no to Stella. Maybe next time? If there is a next time at all. <clears throat> Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. I... I want you to know that I want you to have a good time. Have fun. Drink a couple of beers for in... Drink a couple of beers in our honor. Heh. I will then. What are Stella's Christmas parties like? <clears throat> They're really big. Lots of food and drinks and music. Sometimes there's too much food though. So at the end of the party, she lets the staff take home whatever's left. She also buys toys for all the children of the staff members. Really? She says something about taxes or whatever, but during the whole thing, she just shines. She carries a beaming smile that I don't see any other day of the year. Many of the kids have even started calling her Auntie Ella. <clears throat> Stella always does her best to put up a tough girl facade, but she's very much in touch with her inner child. Christmas, Easter, Halloween, name a party and she most likely celebrates it big. Interesting. Do you like parties, Jill? I don't mind them. They're a good place to see people. I'm not one to actively look for parties to attend, though. I, I just don't mind going to them. Ah, I see. I only go to parties that Stella is attending. Because otherwise, I'd just stand there without anything to say. That sounds like me. Looking uncomfortably at the floor. Wondering why am I here? Who invited me? Why did they think this was a good idea? Why did I even bother showing up? Nobody's talking to me. I don't know anybody here. The one person who invited me didn't even show up. Why am I here? I'll go home now. That and I'm not one to wear dresses, you know. <coughs> You're not. I'm a tad too ripped. 
They don't look cute on me. Although with all this healing I have to do, I won't be as fit for a while. They're too, um, breezy too. I feel like I'm wearing nothing. But I bet you'd look good in a dress, Jill. It's been years since I last wore one. I wouldn't know. Last time I wore one, I remember wear wearing my arms were too thin or something like that. We all have a complex, huh? I mean, even Stella has her own. That's... hard to imagine. Oh, but she does have one. She distresses a lot about her bust size. Really? She's not that small. I think I'm smaller than her, in fact. Actually, it's the opposite. The opposite kind of complex, I mean. She's a bit self-conscious about having a big chest. Really? Again, I've seen bigger chests than hers, to be honest. Although I guess... <clears throat> I guess comparisons are useless here. They rarely help with complexes. Right, well, the timer just fired off, so we'll go ahead and end it here. So thank you all very much for watching, and ciao for now. Ciao for now.